Lewis on 92.1 WROI, WROIFM.com, and Abby is in the studio from RTC. Hello. So we are recording for Channel 4 and having audio live on Channel 5. So welcome. Thank you. Yeah, nice to have you with us. Going to gonna talk with Amy Rowe now, Executive Director of Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. Amy, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. You've had a busy morning already. Just a little bit of a busy morning. Woke up with some snow and went over to the library and welcomed uh, Secretary Lawson. So we had our very first 2017 Fulton okay. County Women in Business. Glad to be able to uh, repeat history and um, create uh, an additional year of great programs. Connie Lawson, of course, Secretary of State for the state of Indiana. What uh, kind of message did she bring to the ladies this morning? You know, she started out really personal. It was great just to hear her journey uh, that she had started her own business. So obviously, as uh, her being in Helping Businesses started, that was a, a great impact for her to, to, to understand what, it was, uh, what was needed to be able to start businesses. Okay. So that's helped a lot with her career. Um, and, uh, you know, just talking a lot about elections, uh, she... Uh, alluded to the fact that Fulton County women should reach for the stars. She said that she didn't do what she didn't do without hard work. She said that she put on her shoes and every day got back up and, and made it work, that she was not always the, uh, the number one pick, but that her hard work and her tenacity were really what made her uh, who she is today. Did she mention why she was motivated to run for Secretary of State? She said she actually got asked. Okay. Yeah, she Excellent. said that she had got asked by uh, Governor Mitch Daniels, and uh, at that time she was in the Senate. And uh, he said, hey, you know, would you be willing to, to take this position on? And uh, obviously her passion for voting because she had uh, been an elected official multiple right. times. And um, also her understanding of business. She said, well, I didn't really know what that meant, uh, but I felt like I was willing to take on the challenge and uh, to make that happen. So she said yes, of course. And she had her fifth year um, anniversary, I think she said yesterday, okay. March 16th. So uh, the amount of things, it was like drinking from a water hose just to sure. hear the presentation this morning. Um, and we uh, will have it recorded. We had it recorded. Okay. Uh, so it will be on our YouTube channel. Okay. Um, so anybody that did not get to come can see it. And uh, she went through all of her accomplishments that she's done. And I think, dear Lord, I think I'm busy. Uh, she's got so much going on. A lot of good things to support business and to make sure that elections are safe. And of course, that's the main job of the Secretary of State, frankly. Basically, those okay. two things. She's got a million other things uh, sure. that she mentioned that she did, but those are the two, I think, that are her passion. Um, her passion for making sure that the election process is safe um, and that it's um, relevant was very apparent. Uh, she actually sits on a national board for that now to be able to talk about cyber security. She shared a lot about that and um, answered some questions related to that. Obviously, that was a hot topic this year. And, uh, and then, the, obviously, in biz, that new uh, rebranding of the Secretary of State uh, Chamber website, or Chamber website, of the Secretary of State website um, was something that she's very proud of. Do we have a next date for Women in Business? We do. Okay. So uh, June 9th, okay. we will have uh, Dr. Allison Barber. Uh, she is a suggestion from our speaker last year, uh, Mayor Milo, and uh, she is the Chancellor of WGU. Um, and she's worked all the way at the national level. So I think equally like Mayor Milo, she will inspire and scare the heck out of us at the same time. But um, I've spoken to her on the phone. I obviously uh, respect Mayor Milo's opinion, so she wouldn't suggest someone. But she was high energy, and uh, I think she's got a really good kind of ragged, rags to riches story that she's worked hard and can inspire some women in Fulton County to, to reach for the stars. Excellent. So, yep, June 9th. June so, 9th. We'll yep. look forward to that. Yeah. Again, Amy Rose with us, Executive Director of Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. And uh, let's talk about some chamber things for a moment. Yeah. So we obviously are uh, millions of things going on, but the biggest one that we're working on right now is our gala. Okay. So you received your invitation today. We did. Uh, we're so grateful that those that the mail, the post office got them out in time. <laughs> we we uh, depend on the mail to, to get them where they need to be. You know, um, our local post office does a really nice job. They too. do. They are they, very efficient and very good at what they yep. do. Andrea's out there and she works hard and right. she's been very helpful with uh, for us to be, make sure that uh, we get what we need to get done. So uh, yeah, so April 22nd, we're hoping that uh, everybody will convene upon the Jackson Estate okay. and uh, come out and do a little dancing and a little appetizer eating and uh, have a couple adult beverages and 
um, just enjoy networking with each other. And we had the nominations. So, so the awards will be presented yep, that night, yep, right? Yeah, Fulton County Business Awards. And so we did the process a little bit different this year. Elizabeth Hausman, who is on my board, okay, and she is the daughter of Kevin Birchmeyer and the marketing director at Top Industries. She had been in Illinois and she comes fully um, as an expert in all business awards. She was on the team with the chamber there. And uh, we, this is a new concept for this chamber and we're continuing to try to work out the process. So I let her have the reins because okay. that's easier. Um, and she created a process. So nominations were open till the 15th. So that was on Wednesday. And uh, we actually got some good nominations. Okay, good. And so from that perspective, I will be calling businesses today that got nominated and allowing them the opportunity to um, submit an application. And so it's a smaller application with just a few uh, metric benchmarks that she put together because we want to make sure that when we give an award, and this was her request because they won the award last year, that it actually means something um, and that it's actually fair um, and impartial. Okay. So she's created a really good system. Um, obviously this year is the guinea pig test. Um, thank you to Christina Seiler for getting that information out because it was right. kind of a quick turnaround to try to make that process happen. Um, but I will be contacting the businesses and then we'll see who's willing to accept the nomination, put those applications in and, and see who wins those awards. Other things happening at the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce? Well, the board yesterday, which I'm so excited about, um, approved my plaques. So we will be getting out the membership plaques. Okay. Uh, so that means that once we get some of these other events done and if the weather actually ever breaks and we can take pictures outside, uh, we'll get those member certificates done. Uh, we had planned that for tomorrow, but the weather might prohibit that. So uh, each member this year will be getting a nice plaque from Winning Edge. And uh, the winning, they have the member certificates that we did last year, okay. uh, the ones that are featuring the county photos. Last year was Kiwana. This will be Akron, and uh, so that beautiful professional member certificate uh, that they can put in their plaque. So, um, Lord willing, I will hand deliver every single dang one of those, um, and uh, we'll get those out as soon as possible. So, how's the membership drive going? Great. Okay. We uh, we had all our memberships in. We changed the invoicing to uh, the beginning of January instead of the end of the fiscal year. And uh, that seems to help to get everybody's memberships in more quickly. So then we know how much money we have to work sure. with, so we know how to make decisions. Uh, we only have, I think, 90 folks uh, left. And we divvied those out with the board yesterday, and they'll be contacting just to see if somebody lost an invoice underneath the mail, the dog ate it, God only knows, <laughs> it got put in the refrigerator, who knows. Um, so we will give them till the ap the end of April uh, or the April board meeting and uh, from that point then everybody starts getting those plaques with the member certificates so we're excited it seems like it's efficient we're working hard trying to get things done and uh, the other really neat thing that they approved is office decor so uh, the Hardesty's last year uh, redid the paint and the carpet on the office okay. but every time I walk into that front door I it's the bare walls that drive me insane I feel like you know it's beautiful to have newly painted walls but sure. there's nothing on it so I uh, had Kelly uh, Whiteman Snipes before she left had created a canvas um, and had talked to Hardesty Printing about um, some canvas paintings had gotten a discounted rate so I uh, reached out to Blake again and uh, so I think we're gonna get six canvases um, five on one wall of pictures around Fulton County okay. and then behind uh, Beth's desk a really beautiful picture of um, hopefully a round barn or something that's uh, related to Fulton County and then uh, we'll have uh, they call them fat heads everybody were, was laughing at the board meeting because that just does not sound right but that's what they're called yeah, they're uh, called fat heads that's right. um, so Usually athletes yeah that's it. <laughs> but now it's the chamber logos oh. so uh, so we'll have all the logos of the organization Okay. Um, the fat heads, if you will, um, up on that first wall when you walk in. So everybody, when they walk into the office, knows who's in there and who they need to bug um, just to be uh, clear in communication. So the board uh, approved that um, expenditure that we hadn't originally put in the budget. But I said, I don't need an actual uh, bonus. I just want the office <laughs> to look nice when I walk in. <laughs> so that's going to be happening in the near future also. And you've got other events coming up this year as well. I know uh, we June, for example. 
Yep, June. Um, so, but let's go back real quick to March because we let's can't do. forget the sure. legislative breakfast. Ah, yes. That's the one and final, and the one that is so excited. Uh, this will uh, be a normal, uh, normally scheduled, and uh, should be fine. Uh, obviously, the situation got changed last month, right. but this one will be fine. And uh, Charlie Rood at Kiwana Public Library is so excited. I've been there once. Joe Rood's been there once, and uh, he is going to. Uh, create a really welcoming environment. So that's March 25th. That's Saturday. It'll be a week from this Saturday. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. We're just rocking and rolling. And uh, so the uh, legislative uh, breakfast starts at 7:30. Come get your donut. Okay. And your coffee. Sit down and hang out and wait for the show to start at 8 o'clock. So excited about that. And that will uh, tie up our legislative breakfast series for uh, the year. Um, and then yeah, we've got coming in um, June, uh, June 24th. We are working out details as we speak, and actually, I'm very proud of this fact. I, I got contacted by um, Ball State and one of our very own uh, young lady that lives in the Kiwana area. She is currently attending Ball State okay. and has to do an internship for the summer, and she will be coming, and I'm going to basically put her in charge of our uh, very own community parade. Okay. Uh, she and the events committee team and myself will look at that and um, get those details. We already had some uh, fun ideas rolling around trying to figure out what that is, but it will be a morning parade and then after that the Rochester Downtown Partnership will do their block party, which they've got some fun twists, which I'll let Sarah talk about that, but some fun twists on that event. And then uh, Gloria Carvey was telling us that the um, I think it's the Lake Fest will be on that day too. So uh, that day will be full of a, a lot, lot of activity. Fun. Oh, the whole month of right. June. We were looking at, we were trying to find a date where nothing was happening in June, and you can't. Probably can't. We've got that. the triathlon, the power show, and Mentone Egg Festival in Costa County, which is right next door, uh, opening at the lake and uh, all the other fun events, and then our events. So June will not be a boring month in Fulton County, that is for sure. <laughs> so, um, and then one last thing that we've got, you know, we went to June, but um, we've got our next uh, business after hours. That's April 4th, so it's a ribbon cutting and business after hours over at Logan Sport Memorial, which okay. is right, right close to the chamber. So don't miss that. Obviously, it's an opportunity to check the business out and see what they've got going on and meet the folks and um, support the business. That's What's the date again? April 4th. Okay. That's April Tuesday. 4th. Yep. So right. it starts at 430. So lots of fun stuff. And, um, you know, one of the things that isn't so fun but is so important, which we wanted to work on last year, we uh, looked at the bylaws this year, uh, the Policy and Procedure Committee met. That sounds so exciting, but <laughs> <laughs> it's the stuff that makes the world go round. So uh, we, our last policy and procedure uh, manual that we could find was from 1985. So things have changed just a little bit just since a little then, bit. just a tad bit. Sure. Um, and so we met as a team yesterday for the first time to decide how we wanted to tackle this huge task. So we will look at that and create that policy and procedure manual. Um, I feel like that's really important from my perspective uh, because it makes sure we have correct checks and balances, um, standard operating procedures, best practices, um, and that we're doing the best we can to uh, support the chamber members by making our organization efficient. So I know that sounds very nerdy, but it's one of those um, important behind the scenes tasks that we need to accomplish. So by the end of the year, our goal is to get that whole thing updated. So it, doesn't say 1985 anymore, it says 2017. Uh, so that is one of our major goals for the year to do that, so. Amy Rose, Executive Director, Fulton County Chamber of Commerce. Why Chamber Membership? Oh, of course, Tom, because <laughs> it's a tool. And we are attempting, with our wonderful tool talk, to explain what those wonderful benefits that, that tool is so that we can multiply and provide exposure for your business and support the community. Okay. Yes. Your office is on Main Street, downtown Rochester. Yep, 822. That's us. And you're there from? From 8 to 5. Right now, my dad is actually sitting there because, you know, uh, the, all the ladies are out. So we had to hire the father to, to run the office. So uh, Don't pay him too much. Oh, yeah. He gets cookies. That's Eight it. to five, Monday through Friday, yes, right? Sir. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Amy, as always, we appreciate your time. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for the good work you're doing. Keep it up. We're going to try. All right. Thank, thank you. you.